Welcome back to Halloween Month Reviews on Future Filmmaker Turn Out for Zero's channel. And we are returning with some Guillermo del Toro stuff. So let's talk about Pan's Labyrinth. Now, Pan's Labyrinth is written, produced, and directed by Guillermo del Toro, and also, also produced by Alfonso Cuaron, director of Gravity and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and Children of Men. And this ca the film stars Sergi Lopez, Maribel Verdu, Ivana Bacaro, Doug Jones, Ariane Gill, and Alex Agun Angulo. And this film tells the story of 1944 Spain and the Allies has invaded Nazi-held Europe. And basically, this is five years after the Spanish Civil War during the early Francois period and the narrative intertwines this real world with a mythical world centered on the overgrown abandoned labyrinth and a mysterious fawn creature with whom the main character Ophelia interacts with. So her stepfather, the final I guess Captain Vedel, hunts the Spanish Maquis who will fight against the Francois Regime in the region while Ophelia's pregnant mother Carmen grows increasingly ill, and she, Ophelia, meets several strange and magi magical creatures who become central to her story, leading her through trails of the Oberon, O Labyrinth Garden. And this movie is awesome. This is a great film from Guillermo del Toro. And talk about a fantastic director Guillermo del Toro is Guillermo del Toro he makes quality awesomeness and not a whole lot of people sees it and he is a director who knows what he's doing and he's very capable and he's one of my favorite one of the best directors working today and he just won an Academy Award for The Shape of Water which I know a lot of people didn't really care for but I know there's a lot of people who really love The Shape of Water including myself and this movie's no exception. Pan's Labyrinth is a very well done f film, well executed film by Guillermo del Toro. Now the language in this movie is entirely Spanish and in Spanish the film is called El Labyrinto de Fono, The Labyrinth aka the labor of, of the fine and it's a fantasy drama and it's very well well done an hour and 59 minutes the film doesn't go doesn't the the film doesn't have any boring elements to it except for that is a little slow film at the beginning I will say that the way the presentate the movie is presented, I think is really well done. I really love the story here. I I think the story is very well handled. Guillermo del Toro knows how to write a good story and he knows how to make a good film. And Guillermo del Toro has directed some great films I really like. Hellboy one and two, which will also be a part of these this little year three which originally it was was then i took it off of the list but then i decided to put it back on to extend th this to the month of no this little review thing to the month of november because it already started early in september but i took a break until it got to october and th this film is has a lot of influences here and the idea, you can tell this idea it is original. It came from his notebooks, which he kept for 20 years. And a lot of incredible influences here. And I really love all the influences that Guillermo del Toro puts into his work, into his writing, and his, to, his, to his quality. 
the effects, some of it is CGI. And it's and so the CGI looks pretty darn good for 2007. Now, especially the the way the maze is created, the makeup pro and animatronics are well done. I love the use of practical makeup and animatronic effects and spe and special CGI effects here. It, that's all really well done and you can tell for the budget that this movie had 19 million dollars which is not a lot that he really put his heart into it and this was a project he really cared about the music in this movie the musical score is really great I really love how the score is crafted and composed there's a lot of great influences in this score by Javier Navateri. And the editing is really great by Bernat Laplana. And the cinematography by Guillermo Navarro, who I've seen some other direct cinematography work from this guy in other movies and other Guillermo del Toro movies. It is really good. I really love the cinematography and the music and the editing. And this film is not in English, so if you are someone who speaks English and doesn't speak a whole lot of Spanish, you're you're gonna be turned off by the, the fact that this movie is in Spanish. But I really enjoy the fact that this movie is in Spanish, and plus I took Spanish class, so I do understand what they're saying in Spanish. The acting alone in this movie is fantastic. All of the acting in this movie is great. And this movie got a lot, and I mean a lot, of awards. Now, this movie has been released on Blu-ray and DVD. And this movie has been re-released for the Criterion Collection. So, any of you people who buy stuff from the, from the Criterion Collection... Yeah, you you are going to you you might want to consider putting this in your collection. And the sub there are subtitles for the languages. And Del Toro he wrote them in himself because he was disappointed with the subtitles of the la his last film, The Devil's Backbone, which I haven't seen, but. You can tell that he uh, he puts heart into this into this, and I see the heart. This movie got a lot of awards, praise, Academy Awards, BAFTA awards, uh, oh, many different awards. Wow. Now we have to talk about the acting. The acting in this movie is fantastic. The acting is well done. The acting is phenomenal. And I really love the acting in this movie. This is some great acting here. From everyone. Even on the part of Ivana Bacaro. Who is who is a Spanish actress herself. And she was really great. And this was her first... This was her... I think this was her first movie. I'm not sure if this was her first movie, but if it was her first movie, then I have to say she did a hell of a great job. Let me see. But yeah, she was 11 years old when they shot the film, and Ivana Bacaro, she was great. She got a lot of praise for this movie, and she went on to have a successful acting career in the Shannara Chronicles and then some other things and and now she and, she and she has grown into a beautiful woman and yeah Ivana Bacaro is a beautiful Spanish hottie
Even the rest of the cast is great. Sergi Lopez, Maribel Belverdu, Doug Jones does a really great job in the as the fine and the pale man. And just it's a lot of great awesome things in this film. This is a really great film that I think old. Oh, if you're a Guillermo del Toro fan, you should definitely check this movie out. Even if you're not a fan of Guillermo del Toro, I still say check this movie out. It's beautifully written. It's well directed, well executed. A lot of influences. A lot of greatness in this film. And this film just is amazing. This is an amazing film. And they were going to do a sequel to this, but I think they canceled the sequel because so he could do Hellboy to go in army, but it's okay. Sometimes you don't need sequels, a sequel to everything. Sometimes it's best, it's best to leave stuff at one. So for that, I have to say that Pan's Labyrinth is a darn great film. Guillermo, another one of my favorite Guillermo del Toro films. And this movie just, it's incredible. It's amazing, it's fantastic, and it's just well done. I'm going to give Pan's Labyrinth my highest recommendation. This is going to get my JD Rainbow seal of approval. Because it is that darn good of a film. Let me know what you guys think about Pan's Labyrinth down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What is your favorite Guillermo del Toro movie? And what is your favorite performance of Ivana Bacaro? This is Future Filmmaker 3940 and you guys keep it cool.